Good morning. Or is it afternoon yet? I don't think it is. I think it's 11 in the morning. Anyway, so as you saw from the title, today is a Redbird Vintage Unboxing Day. So I am doing my kind of 70s thing today because uh, it's a thousand degrees in New Jersey and uh, I have naturally curly hair and naturally curly hair reacts to humidity and it like kind of quadruples in size so that I woke up this morning to not like sexy bedhead but like oh my god something's attacking you oh it's your hair like that kind of bedhead so yeah anyway um so I just all I did was undo the box okay but before we get to that for any of you who watch my youtube channel you know I did that huge pattern haul um the pattern that I bought that was in the haul but was too small arrived yesterday so I am swimming in patterns uh, as some of you know I'm going to be doing a live feed tonight I bought 114 patterns on Facebook for my Etsy store so but let's talk about Redbird and look look what I found I found something to do with the ribbons because I have so many Redbird vintage box ribbons now that I'm trying to think of projects for them I really think somebody who quilts should we should just mail her all of our ribbons and she can make a quilt kind of the way that people used to do uh, cigar band quilts. We could do the Redbird Vintage Box quilt, right? Anyway, okay, so here it is. <gasps> and I see something I requested right on top. So here's the box. Let's start with the flare that is, oh my God, is, okay. That's, I'm sorry, that's freaking cute. Can you guys see that? It's a poodle. It's a poodle pen. I don't know if it's from the 50s. It kind of looks like it could be from the 50s. It's just an enamel poodle. He's super cute. So that's that's kind of cute. I like that. All right. And look, another ribbon. Okay. We have uh, Dear Sabelle. We hope you like your box this month. The pat. Oh. Oh, they sent me patterns. Oh, God. Guys, I'm going to be so pattern drunk by tomorrow. It's crazy. Um, all right, wait a minute. What are they saying? The patterns. Oh, the patterns are an extra since we had some left over. Okay, that's cool. They didn't even charge me for the pattern. So this is just, wow. So this is going to be a lot of jewelry because there's only one other thing in there that I see that's not jewelry. So... Let's get to it. Let's do it to it. I gotta figure out a use for these too. Maybe the per same person who makes the quilt could take these apart and then sew the ribbon between. Yeah, if you're a quilter, hit me up, man. All right. Oh, well this very first thing that caught my eye, pretty. If I can get the damn package, right? I got stuck in the supermarket trying to do this yesterday and it's not like you take your mask off and lick your fingers, everybody would kill you. Ooh, ooh, pretty. Let's see, let's make sure it fits. That's the only thing I worry about. You know, I am the definition of big boned, so yeah. And by the way, I mean that literally when I say that, I'm not being self deprecating or anything like that. The cancer I had was bone cancer and the doctor actually looked me in the face and said, yeah, it's really prevalent in people who have bigger bones. And I was like, He's like, that's why men usually get it and not women. I was like, oh, and he goes, and a lot of basketball players have had it. And I was like, so is my cancer related to my height? And he said, well, there's no evidence, but maybe. So anyway, let's get back to jewelry, which is much more interesting. That is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This, by the way, is also from Redford. Nice. Very pretty. I only did one request and it's in here and it's killing me because I'm looking at it and I just want to like grab it and like make squealing noises and tell you guys all about it. And this is, ooh. Okay, this is interesting. This isn't really my style. Oh, and it has earrings that match. Um, this isn't really my style, but my very best friend who, thank God, even though she's my very best friend, never watches my videos, even though we've been friends since we were 13. This is definitely her style. This is some crazy stuff. Look at this. It's a, it's a bracelet. This is very her style. 
And then it also has earrings that match. So that's kind of cool because I probably wouldn't wear this. Um, it's a little more boho than I am, but she's very boho. She loves, she loves some boho. So, and these are the earrings that match. And actually this color is great for her. She's, um, she's got green eyes and red hair. So, and no, she's not a natural redhead. So she hasn't watched the video, so she won't come for me. She could, but she hasn't watched. I think she watched one of my videos once. So I'm not really thinking that that spoiled her birthday gift, but so that's cool though, that these are set. The detail on this is really cool. I'm going to, I'm going to take a picture of this in the thumbnail because I want you guys to see that detail. That detail is super cool. And these are, oh, these are pretty. These I may be keeping for myself. Ooh. Oh, okay. They go this way. They're teardrop. I was just looking at them thinking, do they go like, do they point upward or do they go downward? But based on where the, um, the, see the post, these are pretty. These are really pretty. Wow. Okay. We're doing good so far. And now the one thing that I requested, I have a love of vintage souvenir travel scarves. In fact, the one I have on which I did in a very, did a very 70s style today because I have like my, like, you know, my peasant top on and, you know, it's a thousand degrees outside. Anyway, and this was the very first one I got. I got this from a friend of my mother's who was this really fabulous um, French teacher at the high school where she taught and he was really gay and every summer he would go to, to France. He got me this from France. So it was the very first one. So I was looking at the Redbird request this week, last week, last week no it was more than that it was like two weeks ago and they had this scarf I don't know if you guys can really see this it is a vintage souvenir Philadelphia scarf there's the Liberty Bell and all the other stuff right I used to live in Philly so anything Philly oriented to me is like really I don't know it's just really special and this has got, let me see, Independence Hall, Carpenters Hall, Concord Minute, wait, Concord Minute, Mid, uh, Concord Minutemen were kind of more Massachusetts. And it's also got Paul Revere. Paul Revere was a little more Massachusetts also, but maybe this is more of a bicentennial scarf, but that's okay. Cause it's got the Liberty Bell smack dab in the middle. So for me, it's a Philly souvenir scarf and it feels like silk. They don't really make these anymore <coughs> that I've seen anyway. Um, let me know if you've seen them, but I haven't seen them for years. I haven't seen them since really the early 90s. And even then, that was in Mexico. And they were more like um, serapes than they were actual um, like souvenir scarves that said like Mexico. Oh, wow. So, ooh, so the whole rest of it is patterns. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Oh, yes. If any of you watched the video where I found all the fabric at Goodwill for super cheap and I said I was fabric drunk, as of tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, I will officially be pattern drunk. I will just probably just lay them on the floor and just like swim in them and then take a nap, you know, my mouth open, drooling a little bit, you know. Wow. Ooh, this one looks factory folded. Okay, so here we go. Very first one. Super cute. Super cute. I'm going to say early, maybe early 70s. I'm going to put my glasses on for a minute, guys, so I can tell you what size these are because they'll probably go up on Etsy. So yeah, size 14, bus 36. Ooh, 60s, definitely 60s. Also looks factory folded. Wow. And it's just some really sexy, super hot lingerie. You know, um, this is definitely early 60s. And this is a size 14, a bus 34. So apparently size, ooh, wow, oh, look at this advanced pattern. Oh, I'm thinking this is late 50s, early 60s. Oh, and it's crumbling. That's the only problem with these older patterns is they, they're, the actual envelope is so fragile, almost more fragile than, I'm looking for a date and I don't see, almost more fragile than the patterns. And this, See if I can very gingerly. Ooh, this also looks factory folded. Wow, I think they sent me a bunch of factory folded patterns. Thank you, ladies, because you know I'm going to sell them. All right. 
Oh, I love it. Okay, see this hair? My mom had that hair. I remember when my mom's hair was like that. In the early 70s. This is definitely early 70s. I kind of remember my mom wearing this stuff. <gasps> An Ann Adams pattern. Okay, seriously, I know it's like a newer Ann Adams pattern. It definitely, oh, it, I don't even think it has the pattern pieces in it, but it's for this. But here's the cool thing about this. Go back and look at my videos and go back, I think two months, I did that ant online antique haul with my friend that um, has the antique auction house. She sold me an Ann Adams uh, pattern catalog from the 1940s, from 1942, that talks about the war. And But I don't own any Ann Adams patterns. So even though this is obviously from the 60s, it's kind of cool to have an Ann Adams pattern. And ooh, look at this. Oh, yeah. This one's been cut. And boy, is this, yeah, this is so falling apart. But look at how pretty that is. Again, early 60s. You know, when we still had the knee lengths, we weren't quite at the uh, shorter length. And then an advanced pattern by Pat Boone. Who knew that Pat Boone designed women's clothing? But there you go. All right. Well, that was my haul. So... I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my channel if you would like. And please join us tonight at 7 when I unbox 114 patterns. Till the next video, like, subscribe, and comment. See you later.